In this method, microbes are killed by oxidation. An example here is flaming. Flaming sterilizes inoculating loop with fire. It incinerates and disposes of microbes. Two, hot air sterilization. And this one has a temperature of 170 degrees Celsius in an oven for two hours. All right, it's study time for dry heat sterilization. So how am I gonna remember everything that I need to know about dry heat sterilization? Well, first you need to know that it kills by oxidation. So we're gonna use this I for kills and this O for oxidation. So that's how you're gonna remember that part. That using dry heat can kill microbes by oxidation. Now here are two examples. One is flaming, so we're gonna use the A in heat. And the second one is hot air sterilization. And we're gonna use the H in heat for hot air. Now we have flaming, and I have here an example of inoculating loop and our test tube. And then for hot air is an oven. And remember that the temperature is 170 degrees for two hours. So now we have dry heat sterilization. The microbes are killed by oxidation. Our two examples, first one is flaming, and we have inoculating loop using a flame to kill the microbes that's on the inoculating loop. Next, we have hot air sterilization using an oven Remember that the temperature is 170 degrees Celsius for two hours, and that is dry heat sterilization. Now it's time to test your knowledge on dry heat sterilization. So just like our study time, where I use these letters to help me remember the things that I need to know about dry heat sterilization, well, I want you to use these letters in our test knowledge section. So I'm gonna ask you the first question. How are microbes killed using dry heat sterilization? The second question is, what are the two examples of dry heat sterilization? And a third one, I want you to fill in the blank under oven, the temperature needed to kill microbes and how long does the microbes have to stay in that particular heat, that particular temperature. Hey, my rockers, thanks for studying with me. 
before you go, I want to let you know that I do have a micro study program. Now this program is designed to be interactive and repetitive so that you can remember the material so much better. Now in this program, I have interactive slides, fill in the blank outlines, practice questions for your chapter. So it'll help you get ready for your exams during the semester. Two, I also have the Rock newsletter where I give you updates on uh, my videos the downloadable worksheets that I have for each video. I'm also an affiliate for Check, so um, if you need help um, in any subject, um, feel free to check me out and other tutors on Check. So I have those links in my newsletter. And three, check out my other videos. So thanks again, my rockers, for studying with me.